Europa Bad is an indoor water park in Karlsruhe, Germany, and this park would never exist in America. This place is a far different operational setup than I'm accustomed to, and a very unique slide lineup. I was not familiar with this park until recently, but it offered such a memorable experience. It is well worth visiting especially if you're at the nearby Europa Park or Holiday Park. I will explain why in this review. Europa Bad opened back in 2008. It is one of several indoor water parks in Germany, presumably due to the cooler climate. The park is located in the southwest edge of Karlsruhe. There's a train station just a four minute walk from the entrance. Or if you have a car, there are a few options. There's a paid underground lot costing 4 euros for locals and 10 euros for non-residents per day. Or there are surface lots just a short walk away that charge 1 euro per hour. From the outside, it may not be apparent this place is a water park. Many indoor water parks strategically position their water slides so they pop out of the building in guest view. At Europa Bad, the slides are on the back side of the building, not visible from the main roadways. Europa Bad looks like a modern office building from the outside with all these glass windows. Then you have a nice statue of the park mascot, Kai the Shark. Once inside, you can either pay for the sauna, water park, or both. I only tried the water park, and this place is extremely affordable. A day pass costs 21 euros for adults. There are also reduced rates if you visit for just 2-4 to four hours, and they offer an amazing family deal. For 50 euros total, a family of 5 can visit for the day. It is certainly hard to beat those prices. Once you pay, you receive a wristband that grants you access to the park, and you return it when completed. I believe this is what keeps track of your time spent in the park if you purchase the 2 or 4 hour option. I did not see another way this would be monitored. If you exceed your time, I imagine you may have to pay for the next level before leaving the park. And unlike most water parks in America, lockers are essentially free. You deposit a 2 euro coin to access and secure the locker, but it is refunded entirely when you're done. One of the main ways this park keeps their prices down is by minimizing staffing. This place is operated way differently than anything you would ever see in America. Slides do not have attendance at the top. They also do not have lifeguards at the bottom. Employees monitor everything via camera from a central control room. They then intervene as necessary. Slides are self-operated and self-regulated. Each slide is a red light green light system to control the guest flow. From what I saw, guests appropriately followed the system. The intervals between riders is shockingly quick, but I never saw any collisions or near misses. The more extreme body slides have turnstiles as an additional safety measure. This even included the trapdoor slide. I was stunned this was self-operated as well. You load yourself into the capsule, shut the door, and press a button to initiate the descent. This park is also a lot more compact than other indoor water parks I have visited. You have a main room with a large pool and sky surfer. Then the remaining slides are accessed via this narrow hallway. You board on the top level, and you exit on the lower level. Most slides are enclosed, but one is exposed outdoors. There is not much in terms of theming as the hallways look pretty plain, but the slides themselves are colorful, and that main room looks pleasant. By day, I imagine the glass windows allow ample lighting. I visited in the evening though, so instead, I saw the pools glowing with a blue hue. On that note, I need to touch on this park's hours. This place has long hours. They open at 10am on weekends and school holidays and 1 p.m. on other days. Then the park is open until the weirdly specific time of 10.20 p.m. on Fridays, Saturdays, and school holidays. On other days, the park is open until 8.20 or 9 p.m. You probably do not need a full day. I think the two to four hour pass is ample, especially if you visit later in the day. I visited for the last hour at the start of a school holiday, yet, 
I was able to ride 22 slides in that time. Most slides were complete walk-ons. At worst, I had to wait maybe just one or two people for a few rides. Do not be afraid to visit in the evening. Like many indoor water parks, the air and water temperature is heated, so you will be perfectly comfortable for the most part. There are just two exceptions, albeit brief. Wild Wasserfluss is the outdoor slide, so it is chilly when you walk outdoors to start the slide. It is fine once you get going, though. Then Aqua Rocket was built in an extension in the roof. For whatever reason, this area is not heated like the rest of the park, so it feels like you're outdoors once again. Now let's talk about that slide lineup. There are only a handful of attractions. There are just six slides for adults and two for kids. But what this park lacks in quantity is more than compensated by quality and uniqueness. I had a blast rewriting the attractions they offered over and over again. The most unique slide here is Sky Surfer. This is a rare stand-up water slide. You glide down an ultra-slick trough. It feels like you're coasting along an icy surface. Make sure to hold on because it feels a bit out of control. This is a physically demanding slide where you need to keep your balance especially if you give yourself a running start. You get some odd laterals on the unbanked turns. Then the final splashdown is abrupt and tries to tip you over. I have an entire review going more in depth, but the novel riding position was pure fun. Aqua Rocket is the most extreme slide here. This is a trapdoor slide. Once loaded, you press the green button. Then the floor will suddenly fall out with no countdown. This makes it super suspenseful. The drop offers a nice freefall sensation. Then the following turn is fast and forceful. And this slide is super smooth, despite its power. Wild Wasserfluss is a deceptively wild body slide. This feels like the hybrid of a water slide and whitewater rafting. You have a turbulent course with a fast current. Then the turns are these sharp bends, so you bounce off the walls. At the same time, this creates a wave that nails you in the face. These maneuvers give the slide an edge. Two additional unique features. One, there are a series of splashdown pools breaking up the slide segments, so you need to fight the current to push yourself into the next section. Two, the trough splits into two different sections briefly at points. The courses run alongside each other, but it's still a fun quirk. Green Viper is another surprising body slide. The layout is reminiscent of something you'd see in a Pro Slide Tornado Alley, but on those, you experience the attraction in a tube. I was absolutely shocked to hit a funnel section on a body slide. It felt so strange, and it sometimes caused me to continue the slide backwards, which was extremely disorienting and dizzying while lying down. Beyond the funnel bit, this slide has another sizable drop shortly afterwards, and the experience is plus by some lighting and visual effects. There are buttons at the start that let you pick your program, but I did not notice any variation between them. Tarantula is a body bowl slide with a different layout. There's a rightward drop of some force and illuminated rings. Then you have a leftward drop immediately afterwards into the bowl. The directional change is quite surprising. The bowl is mild in terms of thrills, but there is a multicolored spiderweb effect on the ceiling that looks fantastic. Once you slow down, you need to push yourself into the next section of the slide. But like Green Viper, it is possible to accidentally take it backwards depending how the current pushes you. The final adult slide is the only tube slide. That is Reef and Ruche. This is a mostly dark slide with a wide trough. Then at points, the trough expands even more. This allows groups riding together in different tubes to pass each other. The layout is quite mild though without any notable turns or dips. For kids, there is a play area with some sprayers and two smaller slides. I did not see anyone using them in the evening, but I imagine they're more popular earlier in the day when kids are more likely to be present at the park. Beyond the slides, this park is that large pool I mentioned at the start. This is a great place to relax and watch the daredevils riding the Sky Surfer slide above you. 
and there are places to eat, but I chose to spend all my time on the slides. One final note if you're visiting from another country such as myself, this place caters mostly to locals. So understandably, most signage is exclusively in German, but I did not have any issue getting around or figuring things out. The staff members I interacted with spoke some English if you do have any questions. So, do I recommend Europa Bad? If you like wild body slides, yes I do. I really like this park's small but quirky slide lineup. Sky Surfers unlike any other water slide I've done elsewhere. Then the remaining four body slides each had their own thrill elements between the large drops or surprising maneuvers. There is not too much else beyond that, especially if you like tube slides. But I didn't mind because of how re-rideable, unique, and enjoyable those body slides were. I happily spent all my time there lapping those because they each offered a memorable experience in their own way. I highly recommend visiting this park after a day at Europa Park or Holiday Park. Europa baths within one hour of both these parks, and it usually is open three to four hours later, so it's well worth popping in here in the evening. While this park does not have the theming of Europa Park's Rulantica Water Park, I do think this park is a more intriguing slide lineup. I especially suggest visiting this park if you're from America, because it truly is unlike any park we would ever see back home with how it is operated. It was quite cool to see. So those are my thoughts on the Europa Bad Indoor Water Park in Germany. What are your thoughts on this park? Have you been there? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.